Hey guys, how's it going? Pan here. Now I know I've been playing Pile of Eggs off for quite a while, and prior to that I was doing the World of Warcraft shit, and I was doing the Guild Wars shit, and every time I moved on to a different game or changed my character like World of Warcraft and became a little panda guy, I didn't really change the K icon at the start of each videos, and similarly didn't change it in the stream and all the other places that it may or may not show up. So a lot of you guys have been on my case about this and think it's time to change the icon and all that stuff. Now. I'm a little bit hesitant to do that. Uh, when I started the streaming thing, when I started the Diablo thing, I made like a big video, Criparian 2.0, and uh, in that video I kind of announced what I was planning to do, how I was cha changing the channel in a completely different direction. And as a result of that, I was, you know, changing everything to be with this Barbarian icon because honestly, I expected to play Diablo 3 for many years to come. And the, the character, the Barbarian character, kind of uh, symbolized um, you know, the way that I like to play the games. I like to play extremely aggressively, extremely recklessly, and, you know, I just love the Conan the Barbarian shit. Oh man, I'm totally into that. I definitely like the hack and slashes more than I do the, uh, the shooters and the futuristic style of the hack and slashes, like the hearts. Like, I'm more of a Warcraft fan than I'm a Starcraft fan, you know, kind of the simple sense. But back to the topic, uh, you know, I played Guild Wars, didn't really make a new icon, uh, made the Panda, no new icon. Now playing Path of Exile, sorry, 0 for 3. But that hasn't really stopped some of you guys from sending me some pretty cool icons, and I understand that um, you know these take some time to make, and I have received quite a few of them. I'm going to show you guys kind of the, the two that I've kept and I really like, but you know I don't really think I'd change it just because um, you know kind of what I've done since starting the Diablo thing with the streaming and the, all the rest, I've kind of kept up to that, and for some reason. Uh, I really like the Barbarian icon. I really think it, um, you know, symbolizes um, a lot of uh, what I try to do and how I try to play games. So let me show you guys uh, kind of the submissions that I've gotten. These are just two of my favorite ones. Uh, this one is done by Mihai Radu. I think he's somewhat of a professional artist. Uh, he does have some pretty cool stuff on his website. I'll link that to you guys so you guys can check that out. This is the Templar one. Now the issue with the uh, Path of Exile is, you know, never really know if you're going to play a Templar forever, you're probably not. So, as a result, you know, didn't decide to use this one, didn't decide to use any of them, just went with the Barbarian stuff, because that shit is awesome. So, nonetheless, very, very good stuff, one of the, one of the best ones. Uh, the other one here I have, um, I can't really tell who made this one, but uh, from reading comments from about a month ago, uh, someone, you know, said that they sent this one to me and it was theirs. I didn't really see where they sent it to me though because I'm pretty disorganized. I got a lot of shit to do each day. But I believe the um, author of this one, uh, or the artist, I suppose, is, um, sorry if I mispronounced this one, it's Bo Palmer Brown. So, if that was you, if you made this shit for me, thanks. If not, well, well, well. Sorry about that. But, you know, pretty cool stuff. Um, I don't know if this is taken from like another movie or some shit. I haven't really seen this figure, but it seems uh, very, very professionally done. So really good stuff there. Uh, but in the end, I love the Barbarian. So uh, I want to show you guys kind of what goes into making one of these icons because it's it, you know it's not it's not the thing where I go you know I Google Barbarian. It's like hmm, I'm gonna go with that picture. That's my favorite one. You know. So obviously that's not the way to to take these things, uh, especially because there's a lot of copyright type of shit that I don't really know about, and I just figured I'd go from the bottom up. And uh, when I started the YouTube thing, when I started with the troll icon from World of Warcraft, um, I ended up having someone uh, do that for me. And, uh, you know, uh, the person who, uh, you know, came to my mind at the time uh, when I was playing on Yassandre in World of Warcraft. Uh, on the Yassandre World of Warcraft boards, there was like some kind of like artist competition or something. It's like, hey, look at this shitty program that you can make stuff with, and a lot of people send their submissions, and uh, clearly the best of those submission, submissions was uh, one from Seafarer, who um, uh, was someone that, you know, was just playing World of Warcraft kind of casually, kind of like a you know, somewhat serious guild, and I figured, you know, a couple months down the line, I sent her a tell, it's like, hey, you seem to be knowing your shit, you want to draw a troll? I'm like, yeah. So he worked that out, made the troll icon, and you know, years after when this Diablo 3 thing came along, um, I got in contact again, I sent her um, this image. So let me show you guys here. The Crypt Icon List. So kind of what I imagined 
the barbarian icon to look like. So you're like, oh man, who's that chick? That looks a lot like the barbarian thing. That's, I think it's called Tarna. It's from the movie Heavy Metal. And it's like the most badass shit in the world. And for some reason, um, that chick reminded me of the barbarian in the Diablo 3 when I was playing it on the beta. So I sent her like this list here with the Tarna. I just, you know, I watched the movie over again and I was just like print screening when I got some pretty good shots. And I sent her the barbarian images, the armor. Uh, you know, we later found out that this is actually the highest end uh, armor with the Archon plate and all that other shit. Archon armor, whatever. I don't know. I played Diablo 3 for a while. Got the, the, the leap slam animation, doing the leap slams, doing the heavy acrobatics and all that shit. And, uh, you know, with this information, um, with the red color scheme uh, that I kind of wanted from the armor, um, you know, she came up with the first iteration of the barbarian stuff. So this this is it. This is this is the alpha. And uh, I didn't want to do the eyes. The colors are kind of bland. The tattoo is a little weird. So I played around with some of the colors, trying to add a little more depth to it. Um, this is like some, some amateur shit that I did, just, you know, playing around, see what I like better. Uh, with the tattoos, I thought the tattoo was a little bit flat, even though I liked the shape, it kind of made the, the face look flat, and um, the hair was was really two dimensional. So then we got uh, we got the tattoo fixed. This is this is the second version, and then after that we got the hair fixed, which is uh, probably pretty uh, pretty much the most impressive change. And then uh, we got the eyes fixed. We got the eyes put in there. Uh, looked pretty good, changed a few things after that, but you know, more or less this was um, you know, almost the final one. Um, ended up going over like the borders, playing with a few different colors, and you know, we made a few adjustments that I can't even remember what they were. But essentially, um, you know, this is the final, this is the, the barbarian icon that you see each day. And uh, I'm really happy to have it. I think the uh, I think the look is amazing, you know it all, all the times I'm playing video games, I'm always out there on the internet looking at like the media and stuff, seeing what people kind of come up with in terms of drawing, painting, and all this other shit when it comes to their in-game characters and video games. And, you know, I'm really happy to have the one that I have. Even though it is Diablo 3, even though I don't play Diablo 3, the shit is so awesome. And it, and it like I mentioned before, it symbolizes everything that I do in games uh, so well that I really decided to keep it. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll change it. Maybe. But can't say for sure that I will. So hopefully those that mind, maybe you guys have some more facts on the on the issue. Maybe you guys mind a little bit less now. And uh, the rest, that's the story guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys tomorrow.